Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my YouTube channel, Kids Zone Artapalooza. My name is Jesse, and I want to thank you all for being here with me today, um, or whatever day you're on, because you're probably not all going to be watching it today. Uh, anyhow, today's art tutorial session comes by a request from Bailey, who has asked that I do a tutorial on Mr. Homer Simpson. Um, I met Bailey, her little brother, and some of their family over the weekend at an event in Temecula. I was doing, a, I have a little booth set up, and I have art supplies there, and people come through and paint on little 8 by 10 inch canvases that I have set up. So she was there with her little brother. They painted with me for a little while. And then later in the day, she jumped on my YouTube and requested that I do Homer Simpson. So Homer Simpson it is. Bailey, and to your little brother and the rest of your family, I do want to say hello. And I hope to see you guys there at these events again. It's happening again this Sunday. It's every other Sunday, but this uh, these two San, uh, Sundays together are being uh, done back to back. Now, the event this time around won't be from the morning. Usually it's 11 to 4. I believe this time it's 3 to 8 or 4 to 8. So anyhow, if you guys are interested in coming out, it's uh, at Bale headquarters in Temecula. Come on out and visit me. Say hello. Anyway, everybody, get your pencils ready. Get something to draw on ready. Make sure you guys have an eraser because you'll be using that. And let's get moving. Mr. Homer Simpson drawing tutorial coming right up. Okay, everyone. So here is our Homer Simpson drawing tutorial video. Now... I've never drawn Homer Simpson before. This will be the first time, so um, this will be a fun little, you know, little experiment that I've got going on here, <clears throat> Bailey. So, and everybody else that's watching, hope you guys are all ready. Okay, cool. I got my microphone. I'm just making sure that I got my microphone in place here. Sometimes I've realized too late that it, that it's not on and people cannot hear me. All right, just a couple of tips on drawing. <clears throat> I'm going to make this kind of quick. I don't want to make this really really long video. I know sometimes they get a little long, but of course, for those of you that want to speed things up, <clears throat> move forward, move back, pause it, etc., you guys know what to do, okay? So I, anytime I'm going to draw something, I always look at the overall shapes first. So we can look, instead of looking at all the individual little things all at once, which can make things really complicated, I'll look at overall shapes, and then I'll start adding in detail as I go. So the top of Mr. Homer Simpson's head can be looked like, looked at, as kind of a partial circle, right? You got a little, his dome right here is a little bit of a circle. Um, it actually almost has a little bit of a triangle shape. It gets narrow. If you're looking at the chin, it gets narrow in towards the chin and it's a little bit wider and um, rounder over the, at the top of the head. Of course, his neck, if you were to break down his neck, you got a little bit of a, of a rectangle or a square right there. All right, you got a rectangle for the mouth. You got a circle for this part, his jaw right the area around his mouth so the ear is almost a circle right eyes are a circle nose has a circle in it so i like to break things out down like that first so let's go ahead and draw mr homer where would i start i'm going to start i'm going to start at the top of his head i'm going to mark off where the top of his head is going to be i'll do it like this just a little bit of an angle now you're probably not going to be able to see everything on your um on the camera screen here i'm going to do things light but I'll try to darken it up. The reason I do it light to begin with is so that I, if I have to erase, it's easy. I don't have, and I don't have to um, erase too much and leave smudges all over the place. But anyway, so this here, about right here, is going to be the top of his head there. All right. So just going to adjust that a little bit. The bottom of his chin is going to be about right here. Okay. In this case, I'm going to draw try to draw the head about the same size as what's, as what's on the original. Okay, so I just kind of transfer over, right, the lines on the original paper. I bring, I bring them over here. So there's that. Okay, cool. Top of his dome, lower the forehead comes down, does something like this. I'm holding my pencil nice and loose. Okay, and I'll even bring that line down further. So it gives me a little bit of a starting point. Okay, kind of, kind of a, a marker. So this would be that across like that. All right. 
back of his head. I'm going to try not to block this. Whoops. So black back of his head. Comes down back a little bit. And then same thing. Shoots forward at about the same angle as the front. Same slope as the front of his head does. Okay. So this here is here. That's going to be the top of his head. Keep in mind that these are all pencil marks that are light and I can make adjustments as I go. Okay. As needed. Okay. So the neck where it touches the ear is about right here. So just come down. Again, folks, I'm just doing general shapes. All right. You'll start to see this make sense as we go. This neckline is about, about right here. All right. About. Then we head all the way across. Okay. <clears throat> so we got the slope for his, for his forehead, top of his head. Um, his eyes are approximately, the top of his eyes are about right here. Okay, that's where the top of his eyes would be. A little slope for his forehead would be about right here. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and do an draw in his forehead and his head back down i'm standing over at an angle from the canvas i'm not right directly in front of it so this makes it a little tricky um but i'll do my best here so here come down down to where the ear is ears about right there i might as well Put in that ear. All right. Cool. 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 So <clears throat> let's go ahead and do the eyes. A couple of eyes here. So I'm just going to lightly again do the eyes. All right. So that's the front eye. Here's the eye in the back. Okay. And then his nose actually is right about here. Comes all about it. If you guys notice, I'm making lots of little lines, right? I make adjustments as I as I'm penciling things in. I see what's what I need to make an adjustment on. Then I'll make the adjustment. Later on, I'll come in and um, erase any pencil marks that I don't need. Okay. So now I'm drawing this part right here. Coming around like this, the area around his mouth. Comes down, up, to about, if I was to line down his nose, his nose is a little bit in front of where this line stops. So if his nose is here, this line needs to stop about right there. All right, guys. So here's what I have so far. I have the outlines for his eyes, right? And there's the one eye in the back. Okay, the nose comes out like this, and then over and down to create this area for the mouth. And then here's the lip part, okay? All of this, anytime you're drawing, do not be afraid to make, to make changes to your race. For example, all those little, and I'm just, I'm just gonna do this for, for now. I don't have to come and do it just yet, just to kind of show you guys. So I erase all these lines in here, Right, and I would be left with this line in the front. All right, so keep in mind erasing is part of all this creation process. A lot of times people don't people don't like to erase. They feel like erasing somehow is a mistake, a problem, something to be avoided. You can't always avoid erasing. Erasing is part of the drawing process. Sorry, folks, if I got it sounded like uh, I was a little further away. I, Moved over to open up one of the windows. Okay, cool. So we got his, this here. I'm going to go and create this line here for the neck. Again, everything stays light at the beginning. Why? Because later, I'll come in and darken it up. But, sorry, not that's not why it stays light. It stays light so that I can erase as I go along. All right. So let me take a look. Let me stand in front of it. 
um, so I can have a better look as to see what I've, to see what I've got. So that my line for the eye comes down. Hi Bailey, hope you're watching and following along. Please leave any questions for me below. Everybody else, guys, uh, again, this was a request from Bailey, and so um, Bailey, I want to see what you what yours turns out like. Okay, so find my email below and send it over to me. All of you guys as well. If you get any of you that are following along here, please send me your results. I'd love to see what you guys what you guys uh, created. All right. So I'm just going through and adjusting this line here, and this probably needs to come over, come forward a little bit. All right. There we go. All right. Cool. So now I'm going to draw this here, and this comes over like this and meets with the lip here okay so actually I'm going to start right here at the lip that comes down it comes over comes up the surrounded area here and then it comes across to the ear to that part and if you were to draw a line from the forehead here, the, this line that we did up here comes down. It almost line almost lines up with the tip of that. Okay, almost. So there we go. So there's that. Now I'm going to look at this. Do I need to make any adjustments? Sure do. I need to bring this down a little bit. This should come. It should be up as high. So I'm going to drop it a little bit. over that comes down and while I'm at it I'm also going to bring this down a little bit see why I make things my pencil lines nice and light very important very important that that's what you do so that when you erase you don't it makes it easier to erase okay the darker the line the harder it is to get rid of it the more smudges it leaves behind all right this is one of the easiest ways to approach a drawing. All right. Got Mr. Homer's little teeth, or his big teeth, I should say. I'm going to adjust that one more time. I am a bit of a perfectionist when I draw and stuff. I, I draw people. I actually draw people and paint people and stuff like that in order to get that, to get a likeness of somebody or something. Proportion is really important. Now, when you're drawing a cartoon, it's not quite as important, right? Usually, it's a lot more uh, simple of a subject. So, I'm drawing his teeth in, the lines for his teeth. Got one there, and one right there. All right. All right, Mr. Homer is coming along. So, since I've got his dome, <laughs> his dome all, all uh, penciled in. I'm going to go ahead and erase lines that I don't need, like these guys right here. All right. Sorry if it's a little dark right here. I'm trying to make it stand out as much as I can. Um, let's see. You'll see in a bit I'm going to come in with marker. I'll go with marker and darken everything up. All right. So you, you guys can see my lines. Just adjusting the nose, turn it back, All right, like this and over, make this eye a little bit bigger, All right, so back to his dome, I'm going to erase this line here as well. All right, this curling comes over. Down. Erase this. So I'm just going through and cleaning it up. As I'm drawing, I'm also going in and cleaning lines up that I don't need anymore, okay? All right, this one comes up. Down. Under. His neck. His collar is going to be right here. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Homer's coming along. All these lines in here we don't need, so I clean those up. We need his other, his cheek. 
on his other side of his face. So we're going to bring that cheek. Actually, for that, we're going to bring his nose just a little touch back, sticking out a little too far. Bring it to about here. Okay, bring this line up. All right, and then his cheek. Oh, since we're doing that, I'm also going to bring his eyeball, his eyeball out a bit more. Take it slow. Always work slowly. And just make adjustments. So look at it. Always stand back. Take a look at what you're drawing. Take a little step back. Assess it. And then make an adjustment if you need to. Make little corrections. All right, and here comes his cheek. All that in preparation for his little cheek. Right, this right there is that. Okay, Mr. Homer Simpson is starting to look pretty good there. And I need to fix his brow. This guy here comes out like that. Let's do his little eyeballs. Now watch guys, because I'm, I'm painting on an easel, I grab this hand right here, put it down on my table, and then I put my, the hand that I'm drawing with over my wrist, and that gives my hand stability. It stabilizes it. Yeah, I'm able to hold my hand, my pencil, a little more, um, a little more firmly. It keeps it from shaking. Sometimes by doing it like this with your hand free floating, it's a little tough to get in there and do little small areas, intricate areas, or you know, little uh, small details. All right, let's do the inside of his ear. This little, little part, part in here. Looks like a little, almost like a part, part of a circle coming down and then in the other direction. All right, all right, look at that. Look at that. What about his hair up on top? Hold on, I'm gonna take a look at his head. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. I'm gonna fix this a little bit. I'm gonna just make an adjustment. And then I'm going to, going to come in with his hair. These two little lines right here. One and then two. Let's comb over. Because Homer has a comb over. Yes. And then what about the hair over his ears? Like it's just a giant M, right? All right. There's Mr. Homer. Okay, his chin. This line here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust it so it's a little bit further down like this. Okay, let's start at his collar right here. Gonna go from here, down. It's gonna meet that line there. This line that we did originally. I'm gonna do this collar back here, and then down and forward. So over, down, and then forward. And then we got this line right here. All right? So we're getting there. Always, folks, when you're drawing something, look at the proportions. The relations between size in one thing, for example, the collar in his mouth. If I was to do this with his collar and I bring it up, where does it match up? So the collar, the thickness of the collar is almost from the bottom of the chin to the middle of his teeth. So I go like this, bottom of the chin to the middle of the teeth. Okay? It's a little proportion. That's how you can get better with, uh, with proportions. You grab this eye and you poke around. What is it? What, what does this match up with in size or close to? Well, here we go. So the top of his nose to the bottom of his mouth. So I go like this. Put the top of his nose, bottom of his top lip, right? So eyeball, top of his nose, right? And they don't have to be exact, but they have to be, but they do, the closer you come, the more 
like what you're, the more likeness you're going to get between your drawing and what you're trying to, what your subject is, right? And you do the same thing with people. Spacing, for example, this space here, you go like this, okay? What is this space equal to? Where can I find a relationship that's similar? You're not always gonna find a match, but that's not that big of a deal. Then you move on to something else. So um, let's see, what else can I do? You guys get the idea. Yeah, you guys get the idea. There isn't a lot going on with Mr. Simpson's face here, so, uh, but you get the idea. Okay, so let's move on over here. From here, we're going to come across for this part and then down. Okay, it goes almost down to a th this line here. goes almost as far as to the bottom of this V, so here, right? So about there, and then it comes back. And his little shirt, his shirt right here, this part of his shirt, almost lines up with this, neck with his neck. So... That's a good little marker, all right? Again, relationships. You're looking at the relationships between one thing on the drawing and another, all right? And then this does come all the way across. So this comes back. Okay, so right below that is the sleeve from the arm on the far side. So about right here, come down, over, and then back, all right? And this can...